God's word is powerful because it has a purpose in our lives. The psalmist says, Yahweh's word is perfect in every way, how it revives our souls. Yahweh's laws lead us to truth, and His ways change the simple into wise. Yahweh's teachings are right and make us joyful. His precepts are so pure. Yahweh's commands challenge us to keep close to His heart. The revelation light of His word makes my spirit shine radiant. Yahweh's decrees are trustworthy. The fear of Yahweh is pure, enduring forever. The rarest treasures of life are found in His truth. That is why God's word is prized like others prize the finest gold. By listening daily to His word, may His love be more felt in your daily life. A reading is from the second book of Maccabees. It happened that seven brothers with their mother were arrested and tortured with whips and scourges by the king to force them to eat pork in violation to God's law. One of the brothers, speaking for the others, said, What do you expect to achieve by questioning us? We are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our ancestors. At that point of death, he said, You accursed fiend, you are depriving us of this present life, but the king of the world will raise us up to live again forever. It is for his laws that we are dying. After him, the third suffered their cruel sport, he put out his tongue at once when told to do so, and bravely held out his hands as he spoke these noble words. It was from heaven that I received this. For the sake of his laws, I disdain them. From him, I hope to receive them again. Even the king and his attendants marveled at the young man's courage because he regarded his sufferings as nothing. After he had died, they tortured and maltreated the fourth brother in the same way. When he was near death, he said, It is my choice to die at the hands of men, with the hope God gives of being raised up by him. But for you, there will be no resurrection to life. Responsorial Psalm Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, a just suit, attend to my outcry, hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. My steps have been steadfast in your paths, my feet have not faltered. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings. But I, in justice, I shall behold your face. When walking, I shall be content in your presence. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. The second reading from the second letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, encourage your hearts and strengthen them 
in every good deed and word. Finally, brothers and sisters, pray for us so that the word of the Lord may speed forward and be glorified as it did among you, and that we may be delivered from perverse and wicked people, for not all have faith, but the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. We are confident of you in the Lord, that what we instruct you, you are doing and will continue to do. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the endurance of Christ. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother die leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her. And likewise, all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now, at the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of God, because they are the ones who will rise, that the dead will rise. Even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called out, Lord, then God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, and he is not the God of the dead but of the living, for to him all are alive. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity so that, unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.